Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goo. That's me. Let's have a conversation. So I thought for this week, uh, I wanted to talk about the moment you realized you were an adult. Um, this might be a little harder for some of my viewers uh, out there that are just turning 18, haven't turned 18 yet, or, uh, you know, just graduated high school. Maybe you haven't had that moment yet. Uh, they consider 18 to be an adult. Um, but psychology says that our minds keep developing and growing until we're about 26. So is 26 the real age for being an adult? Um, I'm not here to, to argue about that. What I want to talk about is I want to give an example of the moment when I realized that I'm an adult and the other adults are looking at me. <laughs> um, so uh, back when my nephew Toby was a lot younger, um, I think this was a good seven, eight years ago, uh, he was really involved in Boy Scouts, and I got to go and do things with him. Um, the Scouts um, have had a lot of issues in the past with adults uh, abusing children, um, taking advantage of children, and so they started this rule where, um, in most cases, the parents have to be with the kids for certain events, um, camping and stuff like that. And in other, in other situations, there has to be, like, two adults leading every discussion. Um, so the Boy Scout leader that, um, or Cub Scout leader, I should say, that Toby, Toby was with, and a lot of his kids were also in it, um, he reached out to me and asked me to be more, you know, even more involved if I could be one of those, uh, those adults. And, um... <laughs> So I went online and I did all the all the stuff and really I, I, I was just there to be there. I wasn't really there to lead anything or run anything or anything like that. I was just there as the second adult. Um, so I didn't really have any responsibilities other than making sure the kids were safe, which I've always done. That. <laughs> That's not the moment I'm talking about. Um, so... We're doing this campground thing, and there, there's been a few events that we've gone to, and I really was just there. I, you know, again, like, never was given any responsibilities. So, um, the one thing that uh, I did along with uh, the, the leader um, was we went on this hiking hiking thing. So, the camping thing had a bunch of different activities, and all the, the children, all the kids went through every single area and they got credit for doing it and then at the end this gives them credit towards certain badges um so this one was like a wilderness hiking thing uh so we go through and we hike through these little this little wooded area and the leader's like giving all these uh all this description of all that and i'm kind of learning with the kids because i don't really do many outdoor hiking things so you know i i'm paying attention i'm learning along with the kids and um it was fun and i you know we were done and over with well uh we had to do it a second time later in the day. Well, something happened, and all the parents were getting upset at the uh, at the leader. He didn't give them prizes that they were supposed to get, but he was still waiting on them to be shipped, which is why he didn't have them. And I guess they were, like, upset at him for that. And he started to lose his temper, and he kind of yelled a bit, and was um, he recused himself. Recused, he, left, he took himself out of the situation, which is a good thing to do when you realize that you're losing your temper in front of children, you should just take yourself out of the situation so that the kids don't see you this way and you can calm down. Well, an hour goes by and I still didn't, I didn't know where he went and I show up to the, the, um, 
the hiking thing, and there's other parents there that have been in the in the Boy Scouts for a lot longer. So we're all standing around, and we're all looking around, and I'm looking for the adult that's in charge. And I'm looking around. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. Holy crap, I'm the adult in charge. I didn't feel like an adult. I wasn't a very adulty adult. Um, I still feel that way. I get put in situations where I'm only 34 now. Uh, you know, this is a couple years ago, so I was 30, 32, 31 maybe. And uh, all the other adults in the area were like in their 40s, uh, mid 40s. So to me, like they're much older than me. Um, even at that point, they're a good decade older than me. And so I feel like they're the ones in charge, and I want to listen to them. Um, and yet they're still, like, looking at me like, what are you doing? You're, you're not a kid. You should be, you know, taking charge of this and doing this, and you should already have this done. And I don't even know what the hell this is because whatever. But um, that, was, that was the moment when I realized that I'm an adult. Uh, I still felt like I was just a young adult. I wouldn't say a kid or a teen, but I didn't feel like I was an adulty adult. Um, I was I was just a, an older person, and I was uh, you know spending time with my nephew. And um, but hey, here I am. I'm supposed to be in charge of running this hiking group, so that was interesting. So I thought this week I want to hear from you. Um, have you had that moment yet? If you're fresh out of high school, you know, just graduated, or just turned 18, or or uh, anyone anyone really. Um, when is your adulting moment? When was the moment that you realized that? You're the one in charge, and all the other adults are looking at you for guidance um, in a situation. Or um, where you're there surrounded by a bunch of other people that you thought were around the same age as you, and turns out you're supposed to be in charge of them. Like maybe they're all 16, 15-year-olds, and you're 18, and you thought that you were all just hanging out, but it turns out you're supposed to be leading them and teaching them or something like that. Um, uh situation like that for me that situation was everyone else was a little old, older than me they all actually had children that were in there where this was just my nephew um i felt i was similar in age to them but they were much older they've been in the group a lot longer than i have so they knew a lot more and i thought that someone else was going to take over and be in charge especially since a couple of them were actually cub scout leaders whereas i was uh not really a leader i was considered something different um, and so it was weird to be put in that situation and for me to have to adult as, <laughs> um, that's adulting. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that song, uh, <sighs> Phineas and Ferb, uh, Doofenshmirtz, that's his name. I like that song. Um, I might throw a little clip in there. Uh, but yeah, um, let's, uh, let's have a conversation down below. When was a moment that you realized that you were in charge and you were the adult in a situation where you didn't realize that you were supposed to be the adult in the situation? Um, and as always, remember, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.